If you're anything like me, you're absolutely obsessed with getting the perfect vocal sound. I've been tone chasing for years and I've learned a ton of stuff along the way, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some quick sauce to up your vocal game. Fussing and fighting, at least the scratching and biting. I know the difference between love and lust. Seems like we make up to. Alright, so this vocal already sounds pretty good, but um, I feel like the S's and the sibilants are a little too much for me. So um, I've learned this trick. Um, I learned this trick not too long ago um, to use Pro MB as a de-esser. I'm going to put you guys on to it. So the trick is to open up Expert Mode. You're going to hit this free band. And you're going to drag it over here to the sibilant areas. You're going to go fast attack and release, instant knee. Turn the stereo link off, especially if you're using this on a bus. All right, and then you're going to do a similar thing with this band, similar settings. And now you're going to play with the threshold. Fussing and fighting, at least the scratching and biting. I know the difference between love and lust. And it will really just zero in on the S's and the most harsh frequencies. Um, you shouldn't have as many problems with dullness because a lot of de-essers will actually kill your your crispness in your vocals um, I find that this pro MB trick is a great way to preserve the brightness in a vocal but also smooth out the harsh S's at the same time without having to do too much editing you know I mean at the end of the day if you want to edit all your S's and bring them down that can tremendously help you control the volume and the presence of your vocal Fussing and fighting, at least the scratching and biting. I know the difference between love and lust. Um, the next tool in my toolbox is Oak Sound Soothe. Um, just make sure when you're using it, if it's on a bus, you turn the stereo link off. Um, I like kind of faster attack times and just be subtle with the depth. Fussing and fighting, at least the scratching and biting. I know the difference between love and lust. Seems like we make up to break up, no telling how long it Okay, so a little goes a long way here. Um, another problem that I've run into is when you're stacking multiple vocals together, you will get these frequency ranges that bunch up and that just clouds the mid range and it sounds harsh and it really hurts your ears, especially once you introduce mastering. So um, I've learned that sometimes you got to go into the mid range a little bit and do a little bit of carving to smooth out these vocals. And sometimes it can take a lot of different EQ shaping to get the perfect curve. And um, I don't think the perfect curve exists. If it does, I haven't found it yet, but, you know, we're working towards it. Okay. Adding effects to your vocals is another way you can actually add a little bit of softness to them. I find that putting a little bit of flanger on a vocal can give you a little bit of vibe um, and kind of smooth out the harshness a little bit. And fighting, at least the scratching and biting. I know the difference with another thing to note is the body of your vocal. If you're high pass and your vocals too high, your vocals are gonna sound thin and they're gonna sound harsh. So um, I've kind of gotten more into the habit of leaving that body and low end in my vocals. And I'll use something like a multi-band compressor to kind of control or a dynamic EQ to control the low end without removing it completely. So um, I think a lot of old school mixers used to focus on achieving as high fidelity mixes as possible so they didn't use to high pass as much um, they also didn't use to boost as much so when you listen to um, a lot of these old school mixes they have this smoothness and they just sit nicely in the mid-range without being too harsh um, or having too much boomy low end so um, just keep that in mind when you're mixing you need to have balance between the low end and the high end in your vocals if you have too much of one or the other too much low end your vocals gonna sound woofy too much high end it's gonna sound harsh 
Sometimes people achieve this thing where it sounds woofy and harsh at the same time. Try to avoid that. We should go strong. I'm trying to make you my wife. I try to hold on. Like, there's no rules. Like, you can go crazy with an EQ if you want to. So, I encourage you to try these techniques out. Um, experiment with your own techniques. Hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, subscribe to my channel. There's going to be more content on the way. Thank you so much.